So uh, my name is Michel Maillard. Uh, I'm from Switzerland. I was born around here in Lausanne, actually, and I grew up in Morges, in so the city of Morges, which is bet between Lausanne and Geneva. Um, in more in uh, in the countryside, uh, I'm in a f I was uh, I grew up in a family of four. My father was uh, involved in the. The, the, the pharmacology industry and uh, my mother was a biologist, plant biologist, so I was already interested in this field. But at the time I was just in general interested in uh, many different things. Um, and uh, yeah, I pretty much uh, grew up uh, around here and uh, I uh, like to do very different things. I like to travel, I like to do sports, so a little bit of uh, hiking in the mountains or skiing in, in the winter. I also like uh, running. Um, I do some tennis, so very different things. I also like cooking, uh, going out with friends, socializing, seeing movies, so and, uh, and I'm, I'm quite uh, interested in, uh, in interrelationships, so I'm, I'm, I like to discover new people, uh, discuss with them, know about their backgrounds. Uh, that's usually uh, something I always enjoy. I'm a gastroenterologist, so I'm involved in the management of all uh, digestive diseases, and uh, gastroenterologists, we are have one part of our activity where we do consultations, where we see patients, we examine them, but we also perform endoscopies where we can uh, non-invasively or, or minimally invasively uh, check whether there are problems in the digestive, digestive tract. And once I have diagnosed a disease, I usually try to take care of these patients through various approaches with, with drugs or uh, we can also address the patients to a surgeon uh, for specific diseases and uh, as, you, as you probably have, as you probably know, I have a, a strong interest in uh, inflammatory bowel diseases and uh, these diseases are chronic diseases so I have a large number of patients that are suffering from these diseases that I follow on the long term. Since they are chronic diseases, I'm also managing them uh, on a day-to-day -day basis just to, to see whether their disease is stable or to try to help them recover and, and cope with this uh, chronic state. I think that currently we have uh, the tendency to group all patients into one big box and to put them all together in, in a very broad approach. And I'm, I'm a strong believer that we need to better define each individual per person. And this is called personalized medicine, which is currently very uh, important in, in oncology, for example. So we have this approach for oncologic diseases also in the GI tract or in the liver, but we don't really have this for other disease and diseases. And for inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease, we try now to better define inside of the group of Crohn's disease each individual patient based on different profiles, the immunological profile, the microbiota of these patients, or even the external factors like the, di the nutrition, the diet, stress, all these things are very important and each person can then be really an, an individual and can be taken care really per se. And in medicine so far we have had big studies with thousands of patients into one group with one drug and then we draw conclusions but this is a very broad approach and I'm thinking that in the future, we will have a better, uh, uh, a more personalized approach where we can really define for each patient what would be the best treatment, but also the best way to monitor him or her and, uh, and then adapt to his or her condition. 
this is, I think, important. Then, of course, we have also a lot of uh, technology coming up. We have uh, artificial intelligence, which is budding now, but this will, be, this will be much broader. And for these tools, if you think about the genetics, the immunology, uh, all the, the pictures we have, scanners or MRIs, all of this we will need to have an AI, uh, an in, in, in the, uh, artificial intelligence approach to try to make sense of all these tools. So it's going to be a mixture of going back to the patient itself. And this is where I think as humans, we will be always necessary. So I don't think we'll be replaced by computers, but we will use uh, computers to help us guide our decisions because things are getting too complicated our, for our brain.